So, and uh, welcome. We are here at the CNC machine and uh, we will talk about the post-process file for Vectric. Um, I have a work procedure where I call it half automated tool change. And that is because I don't have a real tool change, but I really like in my projects to have all the tools in one file. So therefore I have for this machine uh, made a post processor which will uh, uh, absolutely handle this tool change. It will measure here on the probe and uh, it will go back so we can put the dust shoe on and uh, then it will start to work. Uh, when it's finished work and I need to change tool again, it will again move out here. I change the tool, it goes measure on the probe and go in and continue the next sequence in the file. So, um, this is made for Gerbil 1.1 and as you know Gerbil does not uh, ex uh, include uh, M6 and uh, the T1 as an example tool. So therefore I use the M0 which is a pause and we just continue by using the resume uh, on uh, I use open build control here and uh, yeah let's go into the computer and let's uh, take a look uh, how this is uh, put together so we are on Vectric now uh, cut 2d and just a very very quick uh, summarize on installing the post processor uh, I have my stored here you normally need to copy that out to the desktop to get it installed when you do that we can do it no problem uh, copy there's my desktop there add it so and uh, it now says the post processor and name with the file term assist would have liked to overwrite it. That's because I have it in from before. And we can make it to your default post processor. I say yes to this. Normally you will not get these messages, only the last one. <clears throat> so that's how I import uh, the post processor to the system. Here now I also push now create a new file. I just use the data I have here. It's a board with a 13 millimeter thick. And uh, let's use that one. A very simple file we will do here. I will uh, do a radius here, apply this one, and we will do a square, which we add something here, and then we will take a look on that one. I'll push F9 just to get it in the center. Here we move over now, and we want to create the the tool pads now and uh, this is only a very small one uh, here i need to have two tools so i will take uh, let me see i take my t1 i'll do a select and we only cut one millimeter because i only want to show the 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 the, the half automated tool chains so uh, here uh, i will enter what i normally do as i enter this information it's my tool T1, it's an end mill, and it's a 1.175 millimeter. So let's calculate that one, and that gave us this. Now we want to do the circle. Again, I choose this one, only one millimeter, and I select a new tool. I can take a six millimeter this time. So we have a big difference here. And again, I enter my T30, that's my tool number 30. It's still an end mill, but it's a six millimeter. This will show up in the file and in the G code file. That's why I'm, uh, that's my syntax for this type of, of work. So here we are, and we are calling it in this way. So the, Next step now is to be sure that you have selected all your toolpath and you cho choose the safe. The other thing is this one needs to be selected visible toolpaths to one file. This means we don't get several files for each tool. We will collect everything in the same file. You have your 
my uh, my machine here which is a lead 1010 i use a black box again all gerbil machines can use this file and this method and then i have this my black box m0 m3 m8 i use m0 for the pause signal because gerbil cannot we cannot use uh, the m6 command in gerbil and tool command so that's why i'm doing it this way when this is selected and done and we check that everything is okay here it's my six millimeter my 3.175 millimeter is selected we save the tool pad and uh, i would just overwrite my other one which is this one and the file is saved as it should be so let's then take a look on the file and uh, that i can do here in in open build uh, control go here we open the file and there it is now at first it wants because uh, we are using uh, g53 commands uh, so we need to be sure that we home the machine um, as the first thing we will see when we come out in the workshop so it tells uh, first of all it the file compiled tells you which project it is this is a post process post process test and this is the file name i gave it oh, of course uh, here it's mentioned it's working in millimeter modes it's uh, absolute distance mode and so on um and then the first thing it will do it starts to go to the tool change position and that will do this in the g53 the geo coordinates and it moves to this position on g0 and it moves here then m0 comes in and again i have a reminder on which project it is and the tool name that we have to use now is the t1 end mill at 3.175 millimeter which we will by the way will run with a speed of 20,000 turns per minute so uh, we enter this tool now and then we go continue going up and uh, we will go to the probe pos uh, position which is in my case x minus 118 and y minus 725 and i go run with the speed of f uh, 350 so at the next line here we start to uh, prepare for the probe and uh, we will go down uh, 70 millimeters uh, with a speed of uh, 250 and here that's where we start probing the axis and when it gets contact it moves over here and it says g92 and this is the distance from my probe when there is contact and down to the table of the cnc and this distance is for me set 48.6 millimeters so it's now going back to the tool change position i can add my dust shoe and this kind of stuff and we press enter and it starts the m3 uh, the m3 and 20,000. then i have added a pause here on seven seconds and that's because i want the <clears throat> spindle to be on maximum or the selected speed so it's not speeding up while we are drilling down or moving down into the item so that's why i have these seven seconds it can uh, it can uh, be different from spindle to spindle i do not uh, push my spindle a lot so I, I give it time to come up i give it time to stop and that's why I wait these uh, seven seconds. In my case, I have an SSR relay uh, connected as well. So I use the M8 command to start my vacuumizer and the M9 command to turn it off. So now we do the, the, the thing. I think it was uh, the square first. And then we come to a new tool change. And this now we need to find tool number 30. And this we can do while the machine is working so we can't prepare uh, everything there we see the cutting feed rates the plunge rates and how much the spindle speed will be um 
again and the whole procedure starts over again by going back to uh, to the tool change position we push resume and it will uh, probe and go back for the dust tube and do its thing um, down here when everything is done and it has made the last uh, the circle uh, we do i do not go back to the tool change position but i go back far away back i want uh, the the spindle to move away from the item so i have good space for uh, for adding a new item clean the table and so on before we do that to the next if you have more process and then the whole thing is rewind and we are ready to go again so let's go in the workshop and take a look on this sequence here wait 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 just one thing before we continue just i want to show you where you need to make the changes in the post process file so it fits to your cnc machine so i open it up here uh, this one is in millimeters uh, you can change this to uh, to uh, inches by changing uh, here to from 21 to 20 that will uh, provide you with inches mode so i'm running in absolute distance mode um, and there's some text you can see here and here is the first place to you have to modify this is the coordinates i have for the tool change position where i physically change the tool so you need to look into your g53 and uh, sh see where uh, uh, what numbers you have in your x and your y position then we have to go longer down because now we move where i have my probe placed and that's at x minus 118 and y minus 724 and again here you need to modify these two numbers because um, because uh, uh, it has to fit if you where you have your fixed probe then i start the in the next line here you see we start in g54 and do the sequence of uh, uh, zero out the the set axis and i have said it maximum has to run 70 uh, uh, millimeters you can make it to whatever but it just needs to be long enough but why i set it to this is if i have it on the top or i somehow forget to enter a tool it will not go totally down in my 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 um, uh, probe and if i not succeed to get a connection within 70 millimeters then it stops and comes up with an error the f250 is 250 millimeters per minute that the probe is going down and the last one is um is uh, the uh, height from my set probe when it con has a contact and down to the table of my cnc machine and that is exactly 48.6 millimeters and this needs to be entered um and again here you see here uh g it it, it moves back this is exactly the same value as when i have my tool change position as you see up here so so this needs to be exactly the same here because now it goes back and it pause and it goes back in g53 again then it when it comes there it goes to g54 and it pause and then you add on your dust shoe or uh, whatever you need to do there so this is in the beginning of the heater then we have down here tool chains in between and this sequence runs exactly as many times uh, on a g-code as you have a tool but you only need to change this once here so exactly the same as last time in g53 here for the tool change positioning you need to change to exactly the same what you did have above here we need uh, x uh, minus 118 that's where the pro position is and again here the 70 millimeters up to you and what you measure on the set axis um yeah and 
here again you need to have this value must be exactly the same as this value here okay so this will uh, this will uh, uh, make the the g-code file for you also here maybe you could have i have i mean i use the m3 m4 command for for spindle on off and i also have the suction on that's my m8 m9 uh, i have an ssr relay that turns on when and this is for my vacuumizer but here you see there is a g4 when the spindle starts here and let's say it's twenty thousand uh, turns per minute i have set uh, uh, the system to wait seven seconds and that's because i want the spindle to get up on full speed what is programmed at the maximum will be seven seconds so it's not going fast out and down and uh, and then starts to increase the speed while it's in the material so that's why i have this pause here you can change this to whatever suits uh, your spindle and your needs so that's uh, obviously it and here the begin of the footer so when the job is done it turns off the spindle and the set axis goes to to safe height a safe position and then i turn off the things then i take my g in g53 again i go six millimeter down on the set axis and i move in g0 full speed to minus 25 minus 25 x and y and this is because i want to clear the x-axis from from the rest of the machine so that i easily can take out my item and clean the table and make it ready for entering the next item and at the end it makes a remind with a command of m30 so i hope it helps so let's uh, go out to the cnc machine so guys welcome um the first thing you absolutely have to do is to go into and connect connect here we are connected and we want to load the file it is post-process test let's move on with that one and here you can see at least in open build control it reminds me on that it is there are g53 commands in and to let the system work probably we need to home it so this we will start to do and uh, let's start homing i just take a jock it because the home procedure itself is uh, more or less uh, a little bit slow so i always do like that and now i push the home button and as you can see we will move to the home position and now i'm in machine coordinates but if i look into world coordinates or uh, sorry machine coordinate system here now that's what we are in the other one was world coordinate now i can see exactly the settings that i have here i can also here see the 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 item we work on and uh, if i push run no we need to do one thing guys we have now home the whole thing and we need to go out and i was setting this up as the center of of the item so i just do uh, zero out here now it doesn't matter so you see even set axis because i will change the tool now and uh, uh, then the machine will go over and measure here at the probe and it will go back so i can add uh, as an example a dust tube and it will uh, go in and continue work so uh, let's start with that and let's run the job and the machine goes out here where i now can work with my tools and change and change to to uh, uh, the tool I need and you see here on the screen it says resume job so now I resume and it will go over and do a 
probe so it knows how long it is. So, and I go back to the tool change position, and I can now add my dust shoe. So, when I push resume job now, the spindle will start, and uh, it will wait seven seconds before it moves and do the job. And as soon as the seven seconds is gone, you will hear that my vacuumizer starts uh, and for removing the dust. So let me push and you will hear quite some noise. Now it starts up. And now the vacuumizer came in. And it do the job. So you can see it is, uh, we are making the square right now. So when it's done with the square, it goes up again into D53 mode. And uh, you can see it here. It turns off the vacuumizer and moves into if you remember this is exactly my coordinate three minus 365 minus 320 and six millimeters down from from the home position on set axis so now i take this off and uh, do my thing change to another tool and i push resume job and you will see now here on in the yellow fields here on the machine coordinates that they will change to what we discussed here uh, before we went out here. So now it goes down, messing the tool length of the new tool. There we go, compensation will come. And we are now ready to go in and work on. So let's continue and resume the job. Oh, I forgot to put the back of my turns on again, and we will do the circle. And when it's done with that, it will go up and go over in that position away from, from the board or table. So, and it moves away. So, again, in the G53 system, and if you remember, in my file, it says to minus 25 and minus 25, and in, in the ma machine coordinate system. So that's how my file is working. I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas, maybe. Uh, I like this type of work. It's funny to make. And uh, it, matter of fact, makes it a little bit easier because I have everything in one file. Okay, guys, see you another day. Stay happy and happy carving.